Okay, everyone. I'm here for my review of the first two episodes of Power Rangers Beast Morphers, entitled Beast Unleashed and Evox's Revenge, respectively. So, the first episode, Beast Unleashed, start off, we're introduced to the city of Coral Harbor, or Coral Bay, one of those places. Uh, and we see the mayor of this city is getting ready to go to the bat, uh, the battle site place. And we cut to a karate place where a student is, where a karate class is going on. And the teacher and one of his students aren't exactly getting along because the other student has headphones and isn't paying attention to much. So they have a, not this would be Devin, who will be our Red Ranger for the season. Ah, uh, and the teacher is named Blaze, but we'll talk about Blaze in a little bit. Uh, anyway, Devin's dad, who happens to be the mayor, comes to take him to Force Battle Grid, I believe is the name of it. Uh, and Devin wants to go there because of a battle simulator they have. But on the way there, the mayor tells Devin that he's not going to make anything of his life playing video games or doing karate, and he should do something like this job interview that he had lined up. I guess his dad's never heard of guys like Chuck Norris and half these guys that make a living like competitive e-gaming. I'm not one of them, but eh. Uh, but anyway, uh, while inside... Uh, we meet our comic relief for the season, Ben and Betty, a brother and sister combination. They are security for the, uh, Morph Battle Site, or whatever it's called. Um, and their comedy actually works a little bit better than Victor and Monty's in the entire 40 episodes of, uh, Ninja Steel, which I didn't even finish reviewing because I got tired of you know, trying to think of ways to review that show and be positive. Because I always try to stay positive and find positive in things. But anyway, uh, here we also meet the laundry girl of the, for, of the morph battle site, Zoe. She'll become our yellow ranger, but we'll get into that later. And Devin is snuck in by wearing a lab coat. They just leave those around, and no one notices it, but whatever. Uh, and they're a, and Morph Battle Site, or whatever it is, is about to make Power Rangers using Morph X, a thing to tap into the morphing grid. Now, the mayor of Coral Harbor, or Coral, or Coral Bay, uh, says that, is this really a smart idea, uh, tapping into the morphing grid, because for decades, people like Greta Repulsa, Sledge, and Galvanax have, uh, gone after the morphing grid. Well, technically, I'm assuming that Beast Morphers is taking place in the universe that is the current, is the universe that most all the other PR shows take place in. The problem is Dino Charge is not in that universe, so that universe has probably never heard of Sledge. That's a small little continuity error, but it's minor. Uh, but he allows the thing to go ahead. And we also meet uh, Nate, who is basically going to be our tech advisor. He's going to be the weapons maker and guy like, you know, he's going to fill the role of uh, you know, Kendall and other people kind of roles, uh, and the commander of this place, Grid Battle Force. There's a name right there, Grid Battle Force. I don't know why it's called Grid Battle Force, but whatever. Uh, anyway, Devin is basically listening in to all this, and he sees that something purple has gone into the more effects, which is what's being used to make the Power Rangers. Now, he tries to say this, but obviously, since he doesn't belong there, he gets kicked out. Or at least, 
that's what they should have done. Instead, they just throw him into, I guess, a spare room they weren't using. Uh, but an alarm goes off as the Rangers are getting morphed. And Zoe and Ben and Betty go in to try to help out with that. Uh, and the alarm going off takes Devin out of whatever room he was in. Uh, and the more effects gets to uh, two of the r candidates for Rangers. The one who would have been red, Blaze, the karate guy from the karate thing. And the yellow one, Roxy. And they become basically what this show calls evil avatars. Meaning they're not the real person, but they're a duplicate that's evil of the person. And the third Ranger candidate is our Blue Ranger for the season, Ravi. And before the Ebox virus can infect him, Devin shoots the little tube that goes into his morpher. Or where he would have been morphed. Uh, seeing that there's three people there... Basically, Nate and the commander of the place basically just let Zoe, Devin, and Ravi handle everything as our new team of Power Rangers. At least for the first probably half the season when we at least get two more, because I think there's two more in the Sentai, but again, I don't watch the Sentais. I don't know a lot about the Sentais, but I do think there's at least two more, because that's general formula now. That's general formula. But anyway, uh, the Rangers, while their Morphex has added some animal DNA to them. Uh, Devin gets infused with cheetah DNA, meaning he can run as fast as a cheetah. Ravi gets uh, gorilla DNA, which means he's about as, he's as strong as Donkey Kong. And Zoe gets jackrabbit DNA, which allows her to jump really high. And as most Power Ranger episodes happen, the new team of rookies manage to save the day and send Zoe uh, and send Roxy and Blaze to an alternate dimension, as well as the Evox virus. And basically, they are named the Power Rangers. And basically, they're just named the new Ranger team. And that's how Beast Unleashed ends. It was actually a really good episode, you know? Uh, and also, the theme song here is really short. It's 30 seconds. Uh, they need to add more to this. Like, maybe have it go like a minute, minute and a half. So some of the secondary characters who are pretty much main cast can get a credit, but that's either here nor there. That's either here nor there. But yeah, this was probably the best Neo Saban opening, opener, outside of Dino Charges, and even possibly, <laughs> this is probably the best Saban opening we've had recently, because uh, because so far Hasbro has done, so yeah, there's that. So, how did Hasbro follow up? Well, Hasbro followed up with episode 2, Evox's Revenge, in which we finally get to see basically the base of operations for the villains, which is whatever dimension Blaze and Rocks and Evox virus ended up in, uh, where they meet a, a general who is American-made named Scroggle. Now, Scroggle is on the run from another monster that he fears and he's in this dimension but evox wants out of this dimension and only morph x can do that so there's some morph x that blaze and roxy brought with them it powers their little morpher keys uh and we also get introduced to our foot soldiers of the season the tronics uh so scroggle and blaze roxy stays behind don't ask me why uh go to steal some Morph X, but the Rangers interrupt them, and they fight the Tronics and all this, and Scroggle says that he can use Morph X to inject into a key-like thing, and it can make a monster. So he takes Morph X, puts it in his thing, stabs a stack of tires with it, and creates a monster. The Rangers morph, now, as going on, Zoe and Ravi are kind of in a competition with each other because 
He commanders about the name the leader of the Power Rangers. And they both think they should be the one to do it. And it's getting in the way of their ranger duty in a way. So Devin has to take a lot of things in his hand here. He destroys the monster and all that. And also the rangers basically get introduced to their robotic buddies which basically serve as their steering wheels for their zords. Uh, Zoe gets a rabbit one named Jack. Jax, because Jack Rabbit DNA. Uh, Robbie's is named Blaze because it's the Blaze Zord, I believe, is what it's called. And I believe that uh, Devin's is called Chase. Obviously, Robbie's a gorilla and Chase is a cheetah. Now, I could be wrong, and if I am, that's what. The, please leave it in the comments. I couldn't necessarily make out many, a couple of those names, but I think they're named after these respective Zords, so I think that. Anyway, uh, the Rangers have a malfunction, though, and they have a weakness in the case of this particular thing. Devin can't look at dogs because of his cheetah DNA makes, a, makes him freeze, which does make sense because there are some dogs that cheetahs are afraid of. Uh, and Zoe and Ravi just overheat because they use too much of their powers. And all Devin has to do is not look at a dog, and Zoe has to eat a carrot to fix her problem. And Ravi just, well, I guess can't use too much of his gorilla power, I guess. Uh, but we also are introduced to how the monster grow mechanic is. In this, which is basically Scroggle makes a giant robot, puts more effects into this machine, and the more effects then creates basically takes the giant robot, the Gigatron, and makes the destroyed monster around the Gigatron. And that is basically how the monster, that's our monster's growing thing. So since Zoe and Ravi are out of commission, uh, it's up to Devin to go fight this gigantic monster with the chase with the chase battle zord or whatever it is uh his zord and like most zords it can take a humanoid form at least like most of the ranger zords this one does and basically devin does freeze but after fixing their kinks zoe and ravi help out with their respective zords they tear down a sign, they take Devin's Zord away from the line of sight of the dog billboard, and Devin uses the weapon that Nate made, this Red Ranger pistol thing that powers a sword, and it destroys the monster, and the first real battle is won. And basically, to round everything out, Zoe and Ravi basically say that Devin should be the leader because he held everything together when they were fighting with each other, as the Red Ranger should be. So yeah, this was another really good episode, and that's episode one and two of Power Rangers Beast Morpher review. I'll be back next week with episode three review of Power Rangers Beast Morphers, which was entitled End of the Road, a very interesting title for a third episode episode but if you like the video like button is down there subscribe button down there this will start the beast morpher episode review playlist uh so thank you for watching bye